What was that giant creature on Erdak? When I first came across this being endgame, I was surprised to see it, because nothing in the trailers or codex even hinted about this creature. So this will be the topic for this video. Let's try to solve this mystery. Now for the past two years, we got trailers, interviews, and pictures revealing small pieces of Doom Eternal. Even the icon of Sin was revealed to us during some trailers. Doom Eternal had some excellent story elements to it, which included the original Doom games linked to Doom Eternal, the history of the Sentinels meeting the Wraiths, how they formed their society and their own laws, to the point where we saw them meet the Makers. While those events were explained in the Codex alongside some artwork, the story of Doom took an even bigger turn when Samuel Hayden went back to Earth with the Crucible. It was then expanded with the Hell Priest, the Cultist Enclave, various new bosses, and how the Icon of Sin and the Con Maker might not be the strongest enemies out there. We still have to find the Dark Lord, who's been mentioned a little bit, but has not physically confronted the Doom Slayer in the last two games. Another mystery to the Doom lore is the Demonic Crucible, which I have covered in two videos so far. The prophecy was hidden in Doom 2016, and only discovered recently. The prophecy within the Crucible tells us of the dark times yet to come, when all realms will be corrupted, and another being shall rise from the fires, something more powerful than the Slayer. Considering how deep the story in Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal is, I'm surprised we came across that giant creature on Erdak. There was nothing hinting we would even come across it, so it just caught me by surprise. It's just laying there in the water. But is it alive? Well, it's certainly not moving. I've been wondering why it's floating. Now, I did some research from articles on how bodies decompose in the water, and here's what I gathered. When bodies fall in the water, it doesn't mean it's going to sink to the bottom right away. This is because of the air in our lungs. As long as it has air, we will float. When the lungs fill with water, the body will then sink. The reason some bodies stay afloat in the water is this. When a body decomposes over time, gases within start to get released. These gases will act as a buoyancy, which results in the body rising to the surface or just floating. Okay. So we know the body is decomposed, and gases within its organs are allowing it to float. But how long has it been in the water? That's hard to say. I read some medical articles about this, and it talks about how the human body produces something unique, something they call adipocere. It helps to partially protect the body from decomposition. In some rare cases, it can preserve a body for hundreds of years. The residue you see above the water could have just been flesh that peeled off in the early days of death, or maybe something else. Depending on the water temperature, the body can decompose at different rates. In cooler waters, a body can still be intact after several weeks, but a full skeleton might be revealed in around 5 years. Now, in warmer temperatures, the body would decompose faster. So with that being said, we have a general idea of how this process works. But let's not forget, we are also talking about an alien species here, so the same thing might not apply, considering that there is nothing mentioned about this in the Doom Eternal Codex. What we know about decomposition and preservation might be different for these creatures. Perhaps it's been down there for an extremely long time, but what's so strange is nobody talked about it before. You just show up at the level and it's just there, floating in the water. So we know it's decomposed and the reason it's still floating is the gases within its body are acting as buoyancy which allows it to float. But what is it? If we look at the face, head, chest, arms and lower part, it looks very much like a con maker. The only difference I can see is that this one is a little more organic. And by that I mean look at the wings on its back. It's part of its body so it was grown. However, the con maker has robotic wings. If we look at the chest area, it does not have a visible energy sphere like the con maker. This one is different. This bulge is part of its body. I've also been thinking about the con maker lineage. And what if this was the very first con maker ever created? It could have been used as a blueprint or template to create future con makers. 
and for the sake of their history, its body was preserved on Erdak, perhaps they would later modify their bodies with mechanical augments to give them more abilities. The mechanical wings would give them the ability to fly, and the yellow sphere could be its life force or essence. It's all a big mystery really, but I do see similarities between the two. This giant body on Erdak was the creepiest thing in the game. I really was not prepared for it. So to recap, here are the things we can talk about. 1. It very much could be a con maker. 2. This might be the very first one or the original, considering it's more organic. 3. Its body is floating due to the gases from decomposition. 4. The body is preserved for so long from a fatty tissue called adipocere, but this could be different in alien bodies. There's not much else I can come up with, because this thing was kept as a big secret until the very end. It just shows up in a room and nothing was mentioned about it before. But my theory is that it could be the very first con maker, and its body was kept all this time just for the sake of honoring someone special. So we know con makers are born every 10,000 years. If this one is the first con maker, then how long was it kept down there? Well, the codex does give us a clue to this theory. It does say this. The name Erdak is common tongue in the maker language, but can be approximately translated to the word for paradise or heaven in hundreds of different languages, further cementing the theory that the makers have had a religious impact on mortal beings for millions of years. If it's true that this being is the first con maker, then that means it's been down there for millions of years. One other theory is that it could have been the physical embodiment of Father. The Codex does say how this could be. Analysis of the Maker artifacts and scripture indicate that the Father may have been a singular being that split to form the Maker race, or instead transferred his incalculable power into the vast structure known as Erdak, which then birthed the Makers in perpetuity. If this being is the Father, it sounds like it gave its life to spawn a race of beings, and the beings he gave birth to would look similar to him. The father would then reside within Erdak. This, of course, is all just a theory, so anything is possible. I'm just trying to connect the information together to find a possible answer. So that's pretty much it. I came up with two possible theories of what it is, why it's there, and I explained why it's floating in that current state. But if I miss some information that explains this being, just share it in the comments section. Perhaps we can discuss this topic and solve this puzzle. That's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching. My name is Carlos, or Acid Glow, and I'll see you next time.